vertical cylinder of base diameter 50 and axis length 60 mm is cut by two planes which are perpendicular to VP and inclined at 45 degree to HP passing through either side of the center point of the top face draw the development of the lateral surface of the cylinder so first we will draw x y line here in this problem we need to construct a cylinder here of dimension diameter 50 axis length 60 okay so take a compass measure 25 mm from the scale okay measure 25 mm from the scale and draw a circle okay now we need to cut this circle into equal parts okay first i'll be drawing a diameter horizontally and then vertically Okay, now I will take a protractor and mark for angle 30 degree 30 60 90 like that I will mark 30 60 90 120 150 okay so now with the help of a scale I will be drawing a straight line passing through this angle point on the both on both side okay so it is totally cut into 12 equal parts so that means 30 degree 360 divided by 12 means 30 degree okay here also I'll draw a line passing through this angle point the same way here also I will do here also for 150 degree so I'll be drawing a line angle line okay so now you can give the naming <coughs> A B C D E F G H so mention the namings okay so you can show the dimensions or dimension of this circle on one side So diameter 50, okay, now we have to project it upward to complete the front view. So front view will be an rectangular face, front view of a cylinder, it will be a rectangular face. Okay, consider a axis length of 60 here can mention the naming in the front view which are the face visible that will be written within bracket so which are the faces not visible that is written within bracket okay here now we have to draw an two planes so which are perpendicular to VP and inclined at 45 degree to HP so there are two section planes we have to do so it is exactly from the center point of the top face on either side we have to mark at an angle of 45 degree on either side we have to do it okay so draw now the section planes
okay so mention the angle 45 degree here also you do the same thing okay and give the naming for the section plane where it is cutting with respect to the vertical edges we will mention with the numbers here okay so we'll start from 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 so we will extend this so this is also drawn with the true length of line so parallel edges parallel line method it is so we will extend from the bottom also okay <clears throat> so we can take a first vertical edge from a we can measure that uh, what we have cut it with respect to 30 degree right so we should cut it so that is a point so one length you measure and cut the number of arcs because each of these arc lengths were same okay from a b to b c b c to c d all lengths were same here so can mention the namings here The end also you mention A. Okay, now we draw vertical lines here. Okay, now we have to measure from the compass that uh, points 1, 2, 3, 4 is there, right? We should, we should measure that. So measure all that uh, 1 2 3 4 arc points okay from the compass and cut on the respective vertical edges So again so 8 9 10 points also and you should, should measure that and cut the arc on the respective vertical edge you can mention the naming So now connect uh, these uh, all these one two three four points with the curve here. We need to use curve here to join it.
सो दैट कम्प्लीट्स द प्रॉब्लम